A seven-year-old boy died and six others were injured following an explosion at a house in the UK, police said on Wednesday. Northumbria Police Superintendent Darren Adams told reporters that a seven-year-old boy passed away at the scene, despite efforts by emergency services. Six others were taken to hospital, with varying injuries, he added. Adams said an investigation is ongoing to establish the cause of the explosion, and he appealed to anyone with information to contact the police. ...into Lebanon against the Lebanese militant group of Hezbollah in southern Lebanon. Hezbollah began firing rockets into Israel on October 8 in solidarity with the Palestinian militant group Hamas, following their surprise attack on southern Israel. Almost one year of low-level fighting has turned into all-out war and displaced some 1.2 million people in Lebanon. It is with great sadness that I stand in front of you today following the tragic death of a young child. As a result of the incident here in the early hours of this morning, a seven-year-old boy has sadly passed away. Despite the efforts of the emergency services, he tragically died at the scene. This is a truly devastating outcome. I have no doubt that the people of Elzig and Benwell and our wider region will want to join me in extending their thoughts and condolences to family and friends. The loss and pain they must be suffering is unimaginable. The boys' loved ones are being supported by specialist officers and we would ask that their privacy be respected at this time. I can confirm six people were taken to hospital with varying injuries. A number of people were also evacuated and are being supported by our colleagues from Newcastle City Council. We are working with our partners and the community to ensure all those who may have been in the area at the time are safe. An investigation is ongoing to establish how the explosion occurred. These inquiries are still at a very early stage and in the coming hours and days we will continue uh, to piece together what has happened so we can provide answers to the family as well as the wider community. We would appeal to anyone who has any information about what has happened to contact us. A Russian court on Monday convicted a French citizen of collecting military information and sentenced him to three years in prison. Laurent Venatier, a 48-year-old political scholar, who was arrested in Moscow in June, earlier admitted guilt, setting the stage for a fast-track trial. His lawyers asked the court to sentence him to a fine. In his remarks before the verdict, Venatier, speaking Russian, reaffirmed that he fully recognized his guilt. Detentions on charges of spying and collecting sensitive data have become increasingly frequent in Russia and its heavily politicized legal system since Moscow sent troops into Ukraine in February 2022. Venatier's arrest came as tensions flared between Moscow and Paris following French President Emmanuel Macron's comments about the possibility of deploying French troops in Ukraine. Russian authorities accused Venatier of failing to register as a foreign agent while collecting information about Russia's military and military technical activities that could be used to the detriment of the country's security. Venatier is an advisor for the Center for Humanitarian Dialogue, a Switzerland-based non-governmental organization. It said in June that it was doing everything possible to assist him. The prosecutors charged that Venatier had collected military information during his meetings with three Russian citizens in Moscow in 2021-22. The Russian citizens weren't named in the indictment. The charges carried a prison sentence of up to five years, but the prosecutors asked for three and a quarter years in prison, given that he had fully admitted his guilt and cooperated with investigators. Still, Venatier's lawyers argued the sentence sought by prosecutors was too harsh and asked the judge to sentence him to a fine.
They pointed at his career as a political scholar who focused on studying Russia and emphasized that his books and articles have been friendly to the country. While asking the judge for clemency, Venatier pointed at his two children and his elderly parents he has to take care of. The charges against Venatier relate to a law that requires anyone collecting information on military issues to register with authorities as a foreign agent. Human rights activists have criticized the law and other recent legislation as part of a Kremlin crackdown on independent media and political activists intended to stifle criticism of its actions in Ukraine. На основании изложенного руководства 316 Уголовного профессионального кодекса Российской Федерации суд приговорил признать виноте Лорана, э, Лорана Клоде Жан-Луи виновным в совершении преступления предусмотренной частью 3 статьи 330 Прим. 1 Уголовного кодекса Российской Федерации назначить ему наказание в виде лишения свободы сроком на три года с отбыванием наказания в исправительной колонии общего режима. Арест наложенный на имущество подсудимого виноте. Thank you.